What's the purpose of the railroad? Well, the purpose of the railroad is to interchange grain hoppers, primarily, maybe a boxcar here and there, depending on how you operate it, between the railroad, which is track 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, this is the main line, and the industry, the grain elevator. So, I didn't want to just have a bunch of tracks. I didn't want to just have a little yard to switch, but I didn't want to have, you know, a couple industries on a layout this size. I wanted to be able to have a lot of cars on the table, you know, to display them. I wanted to be able to switch some stuff and um, also expand in the future and not have it look like it was, you know, really unrealistic with tight radiuses and uh, stuff like that. This is a number six, so it can handle longer stuff. And off the number six three-way, in order to um, save space so I can have more space, I use the first two, this one and this one, are actually number four Ys. The radius of the track itself is really closer to a number six than a number four because it's only referring to the frog. You can get to this one and this one through a number six switch despite these being number fours because what really matters is the radius. But if you add the number six to this number four then this one, this switch is a number four and this switch is a number four. So I've tried to pack as much as I could that whole mouth of the yard as tight as possible. There's a lot of layouts this size. If they have a runaround, it really only holds one car. And this one is really nice because this is straight right here for coupling issues and uncoupling. And also on right here, it's fairly straight. So I could have a car here and a car, you know, coming engine coming around and couple easily. Uh, unlike having a really fast curve like right here off this number four switch that might pose a coupling issue. Um, and this is nice and straight off this way too. This is, I call it the elevator yard right here. This is, um, this is where it connects to the rest of the yard. So where these Tisby hoppers are right now, this is the, the loading track and it's also the, um, the lead for this yard. Now, as I said, those two tracks are the real grain elevator yard, and this one is too, but it also serves as the interchange track. Layout is kind of designed to have one engine owned by the grain company here switching this yard and the interchange track, and then the, a railroad company, in this case Ann Arbor, um, dealing out here in the yard. switch one grain car see I cleared that switch for the grain elevator with the railroad engine while the company the elevator engine sits there here and I'll just throw that car back there on track two to show you just stop right there that's where my uh, KD magnet is right there so I just cleared it out. I'm going to push that back up onto the elevator track too. See, and that's if you're not using the um, the uh, switching engine for the elevator. There's going to be a couple other little things I'll um, explain now, particularly about the coupling situation. I use the KD under table magnets. They're not uh, mechanical or anything, except I turned one mechanical. Now here's how they go. There's one right here, right at the base of this um, la uh, grain ladder. So that serves this whole yard.
track 3, 2, and the interchange track. There's one right here. So it fits two cars on this side of it. And that serves this track. This one serves the interchange where those two Tisby hoppers are. This one also serves the runaround, which holds two cars. So that's the second uh, under track magnet. Now, I have two down here. So I have the main one right here, which serves the whole yard that way. And I also have one right here. And this is one car length here. Um, but this one, you can get into a pickle because you can get a car actually stuck there. Because, see my coupler, well it's kind of magnetized and that car's not weighed, but see it's open and if it was hitting the back here, I wouldn't be able to pull my car out of there. So I don't have it installed yet, but for situations like this, when I installed it, I kept it open. It's right there. And I'm going to put a, a wooden dowel here so I can turn it on and off and it's going to kind of lift it up and lift it down. So if I'm ever in a situation where I have a car stuck there and I can't pick it up, I can just turn the dowel and it'll pull the magnet away and then my engine will be able to pick up the car and go. If my engine's down there and I'm pushing some cars here and I want to drop a car off right here in order to bring it around and put it on this um, junk track or this um, stub here. Um, so that's why I have to have one there. And the um, last magnet on this layout is right here. It's right from the edge of these points to about right there. And that only really serves the, um, that track that we've been talking about right here so I can push cars that way.